Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, today is Saturday, March, found the date, the 6th. It is day 65, wow guys. I'm to have to hang on, I gotta mark. Had to mark it off. I'm a couple days behind, I'm marking. Um, yeah, that's right, day 65, I was looking again. Wow, it's just flying by. Um, anyway, guys, I want to uh, thank you guys. I know I've been getting some prayers. Uh, you know, I requested prayer for my mouth ulcer, and uh, it's not went away. It's it's not any worse. It's not. It's maybe a little bit better. I, I'll tell you guys, it's whew, it's about to kill me. I'm not gonna lie about it. It's aggravating me to death. Any of you guys that, that get those, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, like I said, it's, it's just like an ulcer in your stomach. It's just in your mouth. You know, it's a big white spot, and it hurts like nothing else. There's nothing else hurts like a mouth ulcer. And uh, I can imagine, you know, how bad a stomach one would hurt, you know, a lot bigger. But uh, anyway, I know I thank you guys for your... Uh, for your prayers, and I know the Lord's going to heal it. You know, He's He's taking care of it. So anyway, I want to finish my reading tonight. Let's see. I think last time we stopped in First John chapter two, verse nine. So we're going to pick up tonight in verse ten. So here we go. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because <coughs> excuse me, ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because you ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Guys, I think I'm going to stop right there. I think that was about seven verses. that will leave me enough to finish tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, And we may even get two days out of what's left. Uh, but you know, guys, that's true. You know, it tells us the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and our pride of life. You know, we can get prideful sometimes because of this life. And, uh, you know, it can it can bring us down. You know, and it's telling us the pride and the lust of, the, of, the, of this life, it's not of God. You know, I should like the pride of life. Uh... Excuse me, I was scrolling up to set my place. You know, I, I'll give you one example of the pride of life, and I used to be like this. Uh, you know, I used to uh, think, <clears throat> and I actually used this example the other day in, the, in church. I used to think every year or every two years, every two years usually, that I had to have a new car or a new truck, car, truck, whatever, whatever the case was that I wanted. You know, I had in my mind that, you know, I work hard, I work hard for my money, and, you know, back in the day when, you know, money was easier to come by than it is now, I had no problem paying for, a, always paying for a new car or whatever I wanted. And uh, so I had that pride of life in me, you know, that kept telling me that, you know, uh, 
uh, here you you know you oh don't don't go work 50 and 60 hours a week for nothing but buy you a new car keep you a new car all the time and and don't get me wrong guys I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that sometimes we need these things and sometimes we have to have them nothing wrong with that what I'm saying is the pride it's the pride of thinking I have to have that because you know it uh, everybody I think I'm not as good as they are or you know my friends are buying them so I gotta buy it and I'm just using that as an example, you know, uh, our pride can really, can really bring us down, and you know, now that, but you know, I thank God that, you know, that's one thing he's taught me here in the last couple of years, since, you know, business has not been what it used to be, and I've not made the money that I used to make, I don't care about that stuff anymore, I've got an old truck that's eight years old, which it's still in good shape and everything, but you know, it's eight years old, it's been paid for for a while, and I don't want another one, you know, I don't, I honestly, which I probably couldn't buy one anyway, you know, uh, my credit's probably not good enough anymore, but that's besides the point, I don't want, a, I don't want a new one, you know, I don't have that pride that I used to have, I don't feel ashamed, uh, riding around in an old truck now or you know not a new vehicle uh, or you know my motorcycle is 10 years old and you know used to I would have been like oh I can't ride around on a 10 year old motorcycle you know what, what, what will people think of me same deal you know or whatever you know I'm just using these examples guys don't let her pride you know let's not let her pride be our downfall because pride is a bad downfall pride can be as big of a downfall as it was talking there about the lust you know lust of the eyes and lust of the flesh pride is, pride can be just as bad as lust so anyway guys just kind of throwing that in there giving a little personal twist on the on the scripture and uh, I gotta get off here I gotta get a uh, I'm so tired my eyes are trying to go together on me and uh I'll still probably I'll be up another two hours probably getting a sermon together for tomorrow. I gotta preach tomorrow, so anyway guys pray for me. You guys that watch this tonight, this Saturday night, pray for me. Pray that uh the Lord will bless me with getting this sermon together, which he always does. So anyway guys, thank you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.